going to be discussing the South Beach Diet. The South Beach Diet is high fiber, low carb, low fat, and focuses on lean protein. Under the South Beach Diet, carbs and fat are divided into two categories. There are the good ones and the bad ones. This kind of thinking can lead to an eating disorder mentality, which is my first big issue with this diet. The South Beach diet is divided into three phases. The first phase, which lasts two weeks, is the rapid weight loss phase. It's when you cut out all carbohydrates. When you completely remove a macronutrient from your diet, it can lead to dietary deficiency, especially carbohydrates, which is the best form of energy for your body. Under the first stage or the first phase of the South Beach diet, it requires a lot of restriction. Restricting can lead to a lot of negative side effects, such as vitamin deficiency, nausea, insomnia, and constipation, just to list a few, and this is according to the National Health Service. The second phase or the second stage of the diet is the steady weight loss stage. It's where you continue to lose weight up until you reach your goal weight. For a lot of people, they never reach their goal because they keep lowering their goal because of the good and bad food mentality that this diet pushes on you. When you have the mentality of this food is good and this food is bad, then you're going to continue to eliminate food and then slowly eliminate more food and eliminate even more food and this is eating this is disordered eating. Also under the second phase, this is when you start to reintroduce foods such as carbohydrates which you cut out in the first phase. When you cut out a food group or even just a food in general for a long period of time, even two weeks, your body adjusts to that and isn't used to it. And so it's going to react negatively when you reintroduce them, especially if you reintroduce a whole lot at once. So if you haven't been eating bread for, you know, two weeks and you really like bread, you might go a little crazy and binge on bread when you're finally allowed to eat bread again. Then your body is not going to do well with that overload of bread. Not to say bread is bad, just an overabundance of it all at once can lead to negative side effects. Moving on to phase three or stage three. This is where you maintain. So you've reached your goal weight and now it's time to maintain it. Phase three basically is everything in moderation. But by now, your mentality is fucked up and all you know is restriction. You don't know what moderation even means anymore. You have basically developed somewhat, if not, a full-blown eating disorder. When you have the mentality that certain foods are bad, and usually these foods are ones that are taste, they taste good, and eventually you're going to start missing them. You restrict yourself for so long that you're going to eventually binge. And it's going to lead to feelings of guilt because you've associated these foods with being bad. And again, this is eating disorder mentality. So my biggest problem with this diet is the fact that it's basically a three-stage program into developing an eating disorder and skewed perception of food. The second problem I have with this diet is that it has been shown and proven to have discrepancies and misleading information within the diet. The third issue I have with this diet is there are tons of products out there with the words South Beach Diet slapped on it, marketed to people who are desperate to lose weight. These products are just another way to push meat, eggs, and dairy on people. And you don't benefit from consuming these foods. They are actually doing more harm. So just because a product says South Beach Diet on it doesn't mean you should be eating it. If you take anything away from this video, I hope that it's don't label foods as good and other foods as bad. Food is food and food is fuel for your body. There's no such thing as bad food. There's no such thing as good food. There's such a thing though as better food nutritionally for your body and that's what you should be eating. Anyway, as always, I'm Raven. Thank you for clicking on the video and I'll see you next time.
Bye.